What the heck? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you have not heard yet, we are giving away previously my dad's Beautiful 1992 W250 12 valve Cummins with only 86,000 miles. So if you have not seen that, we are giving away this truck right here. So if you haven't done so yet, go to lmpgear.com. There's a link in the description. Buy anything off the store and only until February 28th. Every $1 is going to get you 20 entries, which is essentially every five cents, every nickel is essentially getting you an entry um, that you spend on the website. Anyways, we're going to be putting a straight pipe system on the... 24 valve Cummins that is being sent off to one of you, which by the way, we do have a winner for this truck now. Here's the kit that we went with for this truck. It's a four inch MBRP. And we also have a exhaust tip for the truck as well. The exhaust tip is, I believe, a four by six or four by seven. Nothing like absurd, nothing like ridiculously huge, um, but it's gonna be just like a good fit, a good look, look and sound for the truck. Let's get to unboxing this exhaust kit and get this thing all laid out just to make sure we've got all the parts and the pieces and then we'll get to dismantling that kit on that truck and getting this one installed. Should be a pretty big difference. That kit currently is running a big muffler and I could just cut out the muffler and put in some pipe but the entire kit itself looks kind of kind of rusty and kind of rough in terms of the exhaust piping itself. So you know exhaust does get wore out over years of time. Some types of metal just don't hold up very well so we're going to put this on and uh, get you guys a high quality exhaust system note on this truck so it appears we have all the parts we've got our clamps hangers everything looks like it's here let's get to cutting this old one off Here's the old exhaust. As you guys just saw, we cut this up into a couple sections, took it out. It was pretty stinking easy to take the exhaust system out. I think it's gonna be just as easy to put the new one in. I went with an MBRP kit this time. This one was about $500. Why? Well, most of the time, when you buy these kits, if you get the cheaper kits, you get cheaper hangers, you get cheaper metal, you get cheaper nuts and bolts and bands and everything's just the piping, everything's just cheaper made. Everything doesn't fit as well. The bands don't tighten as well without snapping the bolts or stripping the threads out and then rotating the clamps in half, like just dumb stuff. So I went with this. I'm gonna see how I like the installation of this kit better, as in like seeing how the band clamps hold up, how the hangers are aligned and stuff like that, because that's a big deal. Like people don't realize how much of a big deal that is, but it's like if you get a, let's say you get a $200 exhaust kit for one of these trucks and the hangers don't line up, the clamps break when you're halfway in the project, the exhaust doesn't tighten up properly because the clamps don't tighten properly and the, you know, the piping kit wasn't done properly to where it would tighten on itself correctly. And then like your exhaust rattles, it rotates around, it spins around. And now you have to take it to an exhaust shop to have it redone and welded all up and all this other stuff which we still may be doing on this truck anyways. It just kind of depends. If everything tightens up perfectly tight and I'm like completely content with it, then it probably won't. But if there's any play in it at all, it's gonna go to the exhaust shop just to make sure that it's perfectly snug. If you're wasting time and having to go to exhaust shops and spend a couple hundred bucks to have them weld and stuff like that, it's like, you could have just bought the better quality kit and then had it done in your shop in, you know, 30 minutes. You know, just things to think about, but uh, if you know how to weld then, you don't have to worry about that. But let's get under here and get to throwing this kit together. It should be pretty quick and easy and uh, should be about done here in a couple minutes. Well, it's time to take the old first gen home. We just went out of town, so for the last video, we actually, we didn't take the truck back home to Reagan and I's house because uh, we were going out of town, so I just told my dad I'd leave it here for the weekend.
Well, that thing's warming up for a couple minutes here. Check out Nasty Red. Dad's been working this thing. We finally have had a real winter. Usually, like we used to way back, like probably five or so years ago and prior, any, anything before that, we would like get big snows all the time. Like lots of snow, cold winters, whatever. The last couple years, it's been like 40 degrees one day, negative 40 the next day, 45 the next day, negative 20, and like whatever. Like it was all back and forth. So we never had a snow that stuck around. And now we've had snow that's just been staying around for freaking weeks. I mean, just piling up. It's actually started to melt down quite a bit. We probably lost three or four inches today with the temperatures being up about 40, but still a lot of snow on the ground. But nasty red here, dad's got it plugged in. He's been working it with the, with the snow plow here. He wiped the wheels down after he used it last time, trying to keep the wheels from getting all wore out and nasty looking. It's hard to keep these things clean though. But yeah, Nasty Red, for everybody that hasn't seen it in a while, that's wanted to see it, compound turbo, flatbed. We've actually bought this truck just over the hill over there for 5,000 bucks and 149,000 miles on it. It's got compound turbos, Bilstein shocks. We redid the diff covers and fluids and all that stuff. Put airbags in the rear end. You can see that. Bagged up the rear end. Fast fuel system. Leveled out the front end. 20 by 12 Anthem gunners pods in the bumper. This thing is so filthy right now, but it's a great farm truck. Let's just say that. It's a great farm truck. I gotta tell you guys, this truck cruises so beautifully going down the highway. I mean, it, it rides so, so nice. Of course it says they're going 55, but it also has 35 inch tires on it. So a lot bigger than factory keeping up with traffic here, but man, thing rides awesome. I mean, it's such a dream to drive for an old truck. Now, of course, it is kind of bumpy, but that's just, you know, an ordinary thing when it comes to these old versions. It's just kind of the nature of the beast, if you know what I'm saying. They're just, they're leaf suspension. It's as good as they had at the time for dive, so, you know. It's definitely going to be one of the few trucks that I actually am going to feel some pain letting go of. I mean, I almost, almost every truck we've ever done, I wish I could have kept it just because they were cool, but like, trucks that's going to kind of tug at your heartstrings a little bit when it leaves. This is definitely going to be one of them, but I'd rather go to somebody that's going to daily drive it every day and appreciate it for the truck that it is and have a blast doing it than park it in my shop because I'll feel bad putting a ton of miles on it, you know, and throwing stuff in the bed of it and working it and driving around in the winter like this, you know. So, I mean, I'd rather go to somebody who's going to get enjoyment out of it because if it makes you happy, it makes me happy. That's going to be pretty much it for the video. I mean, uh, Got the first gen picked up, got the exhaust put on that 24 valve. So I'm gonna end the video out with the startup of the 24 valve. It's actually gonna be a cold start. Truck hasn't ran in probably four or five days. So we're gonna do a cold start on the 24 valve and get a video of it backing out and pulling out into the arena. But other than that guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Hit the notification bell so that you actually get the notifications. And if you want to, enter to win this truck plus $5,000 cash by going to lmpgear.com. Buying anything off the store, you can get one of her sweet coats, one of my sweet coats, a shirt, a hat, sticker, anything, anything out the store. It doesn't have to be a coat. Buy anything off the store and you're automatically entered. 20 times entries though, 20 times the bonus entries are only available for a couple more days. They end on February 28th and then... 20x entries are going to be gone and uh yeah anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video we'll catch you in the next one peace